A British man has died after his plane sped out of control and crashed down into fields during a training flight in southern Spain. Dot. The Briton, who has not been named, was the sole occupant of the plane, which had taken off from nearby Harris Airport on Wednesday. Local reports say he was a pupil at Fly in Spain, one of the two training schools based at the airport. The tragedy occurred around 12.15 p.m. on Wednesday. A witness phoned the emergency services to say the plane had crashed onto farmland 300 meters from the SC 9020 road which runs between Pinzon and the nearby town of Los Palacios and Villafranca. Police, firefighters and paramedics were mobilized but could do nothing to save the pilot who was pronounced dead at the scene after his body was removed from the wreckage of his light aircraft. Footage showed it spinning dangerously out of control as it plunged towards the ground and an onlooker yelled, It's going to crash! Fly in Spain which describes itself on social media as one of the leading flight training schools in southern Spain with over two decades of consecutive operations and satisfied clients has yet to make any official comment. Separate investigations are now underway, one by the Civil Guard which is the police force probing the accident and another by the Civil Aviation Accident and Incident Investigation Commission CIAC, which is the Spanish national agency responsible for air traffic investigation. A spokesman for a regional government-run emergency services coordination center confirmed, the sole occupant of a light aircraft has died after his plane crashed over a rural area near to Utrera in the municipality of Seville. The accident occurred at 12.15 p.m. on Wednesday with a witness alerting the emergency services to the spot where the plane came down which was a field 300 meters from the SE 9020 road near the town of Pinzon. Paramedics were mobilized along with firefighters, civil guard, and an environmental officer who was in the area when the accident happened. The plane is said to have started leaking fuel after coming down, sparking a fire risk which the emergency responders also had to deal with. Police sources told local media the flight had been registered and previously programmed in line with standard procedure. In May last year British expat Paul Lowry died after his plane plunged into the sea off a beach near the Spanish port city of Cartagena. The 66-year-old, originally from Smethwick near Birmingham and a former worker at Birmingham's Queen Elizabeth Hospital before he moved to Spain with his wife Anne, was described at the time as an experienced pilot. Javier Martinez Pacheco, head of flights at Totana Airdrome where Paul took off from shortly before his light aircraft came down, said at the time, he was a very experienced pilot who had been flying for many years. He was also a very serious pilot who never did anything silly with his plane when he was in it. You know 
esoteric risk attached to a hobby like flying but what's happened is obviously very regrettable and tragic. We are mourning the loss of a companion and suffering with his family and feeling absolutely devastated. Other people were going to fly with him but ended up staying to do maintenance work and he went out alone. He added, it appears he could have come across a bank of coastal marine fog in an area where it doesn't normally form and got into problems because of that. In December 2017 a former rally champion credited as Colin McRae's mentor died in a horror air crash at Nuchksam Aerodrome near the coast of Blanca capital of Alicante. A damning report later concluded Aberdeen-born tycoon Donald Milne performed band acrobatic stunts and also failed to respect the normal aerodrome circuit before coming into land and smashing into the back of a helicopter he had not seen. Mr. Milne was a well-known figure on the motorsport circuit, where both his sons Quinton and Freddie have competed. He lent Colin McRae, who died himself in a helicopter crash in Lanark in 2007, cars early in the future world champions rally career before he went on to win two British titles and a 1995 world title.